Swaminathan. So my name is Mahesha Jaisuri, and I'm an accountant, business analyst. Um, my experience is um, I have got to know this uh, about uh, Venerable Abe and uh, this Dhamma only when uh, Palita sent us a link saying that there is a program that was about two months ago. That's where my husband has read the link and then he started listening to the YouTube videos on season eight and he asked me to just listen to them and see whether it makes sense for me as well. So I really didn't get much time to listen to it but uh, ended up listening to two sessions where I could really feel the sense of it compared to what we have learned in previous previously because uh, not fulfilling your desire is the reason for you to have the dissatisfaction and not being the happiness that we are seeking will never be achieved from relying on external factors to bring us happiness so and then um, understanding of the Raga Dvesha Moha and Hatred. getting rid of yeah, hatreds and uh, the greediness, desire, mm. the cravings and things that leads us to continuously seek for the satisfaction from external things. Mm. Then uh, I accidentally, like coincidentally went for another uh, venerable session for meditation mm. and there I was I've been like we've been asked to do a meditation that I know like anyone knows so I started doing the breathing meditation which I have been doing before mm. but while I was doing trying to focus on my breath there was like a big noise on the road like a motorbike making a kind of offensive noise mm. which instantly got me so angry that broke my concentration mm. and at that point I thought well if what our Venerable Abe was telling is true what I should be doing is getting my anger, greediness, cravings and uh, delusion. delusion points, uh, their thoughts away from me and well if possible replace with uh, repeating the sense of understanding of Anicca Dukkanata of mm. all these feelings and thoughts so I tried understanding the thoughts that comes to me try to give an at attempt to understand whether this is my craving or delusion or anger and then I when I identify oh, this is like a angry thought it is not needed for me so I just started to un like focus to say this is a Dvesha uh, thought, so just let get rid of it. I don't want that thought in my mind. And then the cravings or delusions, the same way I was like trying to remove one by one as it was coming because I haven't been practicing much meditation. Yeah. Pretty much every thought had one of those characteristics yeah. for a while. And then I realized uh, I don't get much thoughts into my mind but mm. I was quite clear very clear that I could sense the next the, the older person who's been sitting next to me was in a fast asleep and has been snoring mm. and uh, only thought I had was okay I don't have any Raga Dvesha Moha thoughts coming into my mind mm -hmm. my mind has a single thought that I don't have any other thoughts. So you know you were there? Yes, I was there, otherwise I couldn't hear the next person who was snoring mm. and I could sense my body somewhat mm. but I didn't get that ongoing mental process of getting thoughts one after the other mm. other than having the feeling of oh I don't get many thoughts into my mind and as I got into that state I got kind of started to appear light that was like exactly a bright sunlight 
focused onto a river, which is a shiny silver kind of a light all mm. around me. Mm. And I was staying there for about 15, 20 minutes, I guess, until that session was over. Mm. That was my initial experience, which gave me more courage to go on and understand this Dhamma and uh, start practicing because it did apply in a very short, summarized way, mm -hmm. which I could understand and it did work in my mind, which gave me some sort of a result. I didn't know what dhyana or whatever it mm -hmm. was, but uh, later on I just did a bit more, listened to a bit more uh, sessions in uh, YouTube that uh, Venerable Abe has posted, including like most of the season age and the special part is that Pachya Samuppa there at the end, which uh, gave me fair understanding and I knew that I wasn't really doing something incorrect. It was the real theory mm. of the Buddha, the Dhamma that I have applied in a very simple form. Mm. <laughs> so. Um, the next time I had a bit different experience of the sensitive things that your body would work like uh, when I was focusing on the meditation I started at one stage not to sense the outside world but I was going deeper and deeper in, in to my inner senses mm. where I could feel my heartbeat like a pulling something with a very big pressure and the breathing was like upper body movement was felt like 10 times bigger than what I would I would normally feel the breath but it was a huge effort kind of a thing mm. and then uh, I stayed in there for quite some time and uh, when I and also I felt like there is an energy ball, like a circle of mm. energy, the shape of my body that was constantly feeling on my outside body and mm. I was completely relaxed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Is it with the happiness or, or not? Uh, I didn't get sort of a specific happiness but I could feel sort of relaxed and uh, something is circulating inside me. Mm -hmm. quite sensitively. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's an energy circulation or whether it's specifically blood, which I didn't go to that deep level. Mm -hmm. That level I just felt only my, how much effort the, we put on to run this yeah. physical body. Mm -hmm. That was the, the instant feeling that I had. Or mm -hmm. Breathing, you wouldn't feel the heartbeat. We thought it's automatic, but it is not really mm. automatic. So that was the next feeling I had. But uh, after getting those feelings, when the uh, when you all came here and I experienced, uh, Venerable Abe requested me because he said I'm normally practicing the Abhitaka Vichara meditation, but mm. he said if you only practice Abhitaka Vichara and if you get delayed to complete your the Aloka Kaya, mm. it, you might n not feel the Preeti Sukha and you might be discouraged for... That Abhitaka Vichara means uh, you need to concentrate on your pure mind, yeah. not applying any uh, greed, yeah. hatred and delusion thoughts. Yeah. yeah. So you can get your inner enlightenment yeah. through that process. Yeah. yeah. So I tried to do Savitaka Savichara meditation, which was a whole new experience for me where the, I felt the body getting relaxed quite a lot. My shoulders was like weightless. And then um, I started to feel much more comfort. It's not chilling, chilling feeling, but it was much cooler. Mm. And then um, I was happy that that the happiness cannot be explained quite with words mm. that I could laugh loud and I could mm. dance just just like yeah. a happiness that cannot say this is the happiness that you would get from mm. this event or that event. I can't point a feeling in normal life to say mm. you would get that happiness if you reach that this but 
it's an unexplainable kind of a happiness. Not in a, that much of level. Yeah. Mm. And say, for example, you can say oh, when you have kind of oh, the favorite food or something, a lottery winning or something, it's far more superior. I didn't win a lottery, but mm. I would say it would be far more superior than attaining something and achieving something from the outside world because I was like a very determined person who would achieve things mm. in the... Joy with, with Taro. Yes. Yeah. So that was my experience. But and I think last Saturday, or so, yeah, last Saturday, as you know, I wasn't getting any... Uh, success with the two sessions in the morning mm. but not continuously no i was com constantly getting distracted mm. and i had to even walk away because i did not get anything from that first two parts of the day mm. i thought for the third one no i'm going to let it go mm. and i'm just going to listen to what uh, you were telling for the commenter hunt mm. and then uh, i just went to the jam and i just got into the level that I was completing the Aloka Kaya up to the shoulders mm -hmm. while the light was around me mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Yeah, it was, I think, I didn't get an opportunity to, unfortunately, to attend all the sessions completely, mm -hmm. but understanding and having the confidence that I can achieve this thing and I can put the effort and get the results mm -hmm. and the day-to-day -day life feelings being changed to mm -hmm. much more relaxed attitude because mm -hmm. I'm kind of a person who would be fussing and arrogant and getting angry for the, at things but mm -hmm. there was another example after listening to this dharma and while like, like I may have done two dharma the meditation sessions, but uh, my boss is a very fussy and angry person. Mm -hmm. He has been <laughs> accusing me for something, like completely unexpected, accusing me for something really badly, like a mad, in a, like he called me to a room and he has been yelling at me like a mad, but soon I, I was getting into somewhat mm -hmm. uh, suffering, yeah. but Soon I was started to consider oh, the words. Mm. It's just anichadukanatha, mm. and words don't give me frustration or mm. anger. It's mm. just a sound. Not the way you want. Not yeah. the way I want. Yeah. And uh, I didn't really hear what he said, honestly, because mm -hmm. I was kind of completely blocked out. And then. Uh, that has gone to extreme level where he was thinking that I'm not, mm. or like I'm not accommodating him, and he called the HR manager, mm -hmm. and she was there. He was going mad, and then I could keep my clarity. The questions I asked, like no, there was no anger at all. I was mm. asking, "What do you want me to do?" Mm. So. HR manager was quite surprised because she herself was quite uncomfortable and frustrated about the entire behavior of my manager, mm. but I was like, no feelings. Mm. So when I look back in my life before, I would have suffered not that moment for weeks and months could have been Mm, leading mm. for me to change the job or something like that yeah, as yeah. well. It could really ruin my days and it could Day impact me. Yeah. I would go into go home and put that grudge out mm. of the husband and yeah. the children and all that. All that are suffering because of Everybody yeah. would be suffering for not only one day mm -hmm. it, and then the amount of inner burning mm -hmm. that I would have had, mm. it was like I was completely calm, there was no hard feelings and then after about four hours I was like just working and talking to him about the day-to-day -day stuff. Mm -hmm. He got really upset and he had like, he was shocked how I can talk to him like that. Mm -hmm. 
so that i think is the understanding that i have achieved from understanding the dhamma i would have that that is kind of a very big achievement on top of nibbana mm. for us to balance the day to day life without suffering and not to have as many burns as we used to have which is great yeah. for me so think uh, in a such a situation you feel you felt like that what about if then rahatan no yes. say uh, <laughs> yeah. with, with in a fully en- entitlement so what what yeah. what will happen that, that that's kind of i was like telling uh, we cannot imagine that, that even, yeah, yeah. Uh, i was telling about the dutu nivana yeah. for myself but Uh, where do i imagine the mm. next levels yeah. how that relaxed yeah. mindset could work yeah. right thank you very much thank you.